Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And we've got a bit of a mixed bag out here. We've got the Dow up 90 points right now. She's trading at 34,887, while the S&P is off 17. NASDAQ 100, that's the one taken in the chin. Down 179 points, that's off 1%. Yet, the Russell 2000 is up 1.5%, 35 bucks. The semis are down 18. So we got wacky markets. The trannies are up 220. We're going to spend time during the Trader's Ed show to figure out what the markets are communicating to us. In fact, right now, let's go change over to our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at it as soon as I get to the right tab. We begin by looking at the ES Mini, upper left hand side. We can see that the ES Mini is right now, well, here's what we know last week. Price pulled back, tested the bottom of the weekly profile, bounced off of that, maintains the uh, bullish trend inside the uh, markets. Price right now is trading inside a bullish structured daily profile. And depending upon where that spot volatility index closes at the end of the day, right now it's just above the 50-day exponential moving average. That's priced at 1861, and the spot fix is priced at 1885. If, like Friday, we get a second close below that 50-day exponential moving average, that suggests price making its way back to 4483, or possibly its resistance level of its TD9 breakdown area up at the 4540 area. The NQ... What is it doing? Well, right now, it's the weekend to see. We took a look at that by the numbers. But what it's really doing as we take a look at understanding support and resistance, doing nothing more than pulling back to test support. Now, support here is the bottom of its daily profile, 15.097. Price is trading at 15.144. The center of the weekly profile is at 15.102. So that is a strong support level. Price is just pulled back to test. That will take a, take a look at the short-term time frame charts during the Trader's Edge show. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, this generated a sell, the D-point pattern. It did it... Uh, a couple of days ago with this bearish engulfing candle that was on September the 23rd, but no levels of support have been broken. So we just have this little consolidation inside of its daily profile. Gold is also inside of its daily profile. Not surprising there. And as long as price remains above the bottom of that profile, that's at 1749. It still has a buy the bottom, buy the uh, D point uh, pattern, a Gartley buy pattern out there inside of uh, gold. Silver right now is generating, you don't see it on this screen, but it's confirming a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom as well as a uh, girtly buy lights we crude she's on her way to 76 16 and then we'll go target 78 56 natural gas headed back to its recent highs and a 30-year treasury trying to bust out of its consolidation pattern folks stay tuned for the trader's Ed show if you have to start your monday have a magical one and we'll see you soon The reality is that navigating financial markets